Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. My name is Matthias. I'm going to show you how to turn on automatic downloads on your iTunes on your Mac and on your mobile devices like iPhone and iPad. First thing we want to do is make sure you launch iTunes. Now I already have mine open here. I'm going to expand it. But if you can't find yours, just go to the top right corner of your screen to this little magnifying glass. Click on it. This is Spotlight. It'll help you search for iTunes. Just type in iTunes and you'll notice the top hit will be iTunes. It'll also show up under Applications. So just click on it there. You want to make sure it says iTunes in the top left corner of your screen when it's open, which means that it's at the forefront of all your applications. And once it's there, click on iTunes Preferences. And one of the options at the top of the General Preferences is the Store. Click on it. It looks like a little green bag. There you'll find the options for automatic downloads. So just click on music, apps, and books. And below that, you'll notice that you have two other options. One is to always check for available downloads. So if you've purchased something and it's not on this computer, you'll have iTunes checking for it. And once it finds it, it'll download it. Also, it'll automatically download pre-orders when available. So if you've purchased a season pass for a TV show, and the latest episode is available, uh, it will automatically download it. And that's kind of nice that way when you get home, if it's available, it's already downloaded and ready for you to watch. So in order for this to work, you have to make sure that you have the a store account. So in iTunes, by going to iTunes Store, you'll notice on the top right corner, my store account is already logged in. So mine at Matthias7 at Mac has already been logged in. If yours isn't, make sure you click on it and sign in. Now mine doesn't say sign in because I'm currently signed in. It says sign out. So that's what you like. You want to do. If you don't have an account, it'll walk you through creating one. Make sure that if you have an account and you've purchased uh, music or movies in the past with that account, don't just create another one. You want to have only one account for all your music or I should say all your iTunes files. Okay, so let's go to the iPhone and let's see how we would set this up on your mobile device. Okay, so here I am on my iPhone. And you may notice that your iPhone looks a little bit different than mine. Of course, mine is on the screen, so that's obvious. But mine has a little pulsating blue bar at the top. And that is as a result of the software I'm using in order to record the screen. So disregard that. You'll also notice I have different apps in different locations and in different quantities. So we're looking for the app that came by with your phone called Settings. It's the equivalent of System Preferences on your Mac or the Control Panel on Windows. So it's basically where you can set all your presets for the phone. Now I'm going to look for it. You can do that by swiping left to right or right to left if you have different pages. You'll notice my settings is right here. I can just tap on that with my finger to launch it. Or if I can't find settings, I can just swipe left to right all the way to the back and type settings to search for it. And once I find it, I can just tap on it with my finger. So there you go. This is the settings. And you'll notice there's a lot of options here. We're going to scroll down all the way to one called store. Go ahead and select that by tapping on it. And here you'll notice we have the same options that we found in iTunes. Automatic downloads, they're all currently off. I'm going to turn on music, apps, and books. Now as it is right now, you'll notice that there's the bottom option for use cellular data, which I'll explain in a second, is set to off. If this is set to off, it'll use a Wi-Fi network when connected. Now, you'll notice that I am connected to a Wi-Fi network right here. And if I were to purchase a song, an app, or a book on my Mac or my, well, let's just say an iPad, a different mobile device, and it is, uh, and I'm logged in to my iTunes account, it will automatically download to my phone. So no matter where I purchase it, it'll appear on my other devices in which I'm logged in. You'll notice that I'm currently logged in on my phone with my Apple ID Matias 7, just like I had been on my iTunes account on my Mac. Now, what's 
really dangerous about this used cellular data is that cellular data is very expensive. Unlike Wi-Fi, which is usually free when you're, let's say, at a hotel, uh, cellular data you pay for with your cellular plan, whether it's Sprint, Verizon, or AT&T. And it can be pretty expensive. So in my case, I have the unlimited data plan that came with the original iPhone, and it's been grandfathered in, and that plan is no longer available. So if you have a small plan, let's say the 250 megabyte per month, do not turn this option on. It's pretty risky. If you go over, you could be paying a heck of a lot of money per month. So because I do have the unlimited plan, I'm going to turn that on. Now there are other plans like the 30 gigabyte, um, I think it's 3 gig per month uh, on AT&T, and I'm not quite familiar what's out new on Sprint or Verizon, but you definitely want a couple gigs at least per month if you're going to have this option open and you're like me where you buy music and uh, apps quite a bit. So there you go. That is how to turn on automatic downloads on your mobile device, such as your iPhone and iPad, and your Mac. Hope this helps.